Hello, welcome back to the Playful Preschooler. My name is Andrea Walner. I'm a preschool teacher over at Olympic Hills Elementary. And I'm here today to show you some fun ways that you can do things with your preschool student while you're at home staying safe. Uh, I thought today it might be kind of fun to show you how to do yoga with your preschooler. Uh, with your preschooler. We do yoga every week in our preschool classroom. We have different yoga people that come in and show us how to do yoga, but then sometimes the kids take control and they get to be the teachers of yoga. And one way that we do that in our classroom is we create uh, little yoga cards where we show different poses or think about different animals and then we move our bodies slowly and hold a position so that we can become that animal or to stretch our bodies in different ways. Yoga is also a great way to kind of calm your preschooler down. I know that's kind of hard to do right now when we're stuck inside so much. And to, to focus our, our minds so that we can be very slow and purposeful about how we do things in our life. It's also another time where kids can be creative, especially when they are the teachers and they're creating the different yoga poses. It's really fun for them. And then since this is the Seattle Public Schools uh, Learning TV, I thought I would show you different ways that you can incorporate learning into creating yoga cards and working with your kids in that way because in preschool we take a look at different ways that we can show the kids what they're learning in whatever they're doing. So let's have some fun and we'll create some yoga cards together. I'll show you how to practice some uh, a making a yoga routine with your kids and then show you how to further your learning with your preschooler at home. So to create our yoga cards, you'll need to gather a couple materials. You'll need to gather some paper and some markers or some pencils so that you can create your yoga cards. The directions on how to make our yoga cards are to draw one picture on the card, and then you can either make a letter or a number or a shape or draw a picture of an animal. All kinds of things can be yoga cards and perhaps we can add some words on the bottom for extra learning. Okay, let's get started making some yoga cards. So I have my supplies here. I have some big paper, and I cut that big paper into little rectangles or squares here. You could also use sticky notes. Those are a nice size for kids to draw on to create different yoga cards. And then I have just a pack of markers and pens and pencils so that we can create simple things on our yoga cards. So let's get started. So your kids can just decide different things that they may want to uh, do during their yoga. Maybe they want to see if they can make their bodies into the shape of a circle. So I draw just one thing on each yoga card. Now maybe your kids want to try to be a snake during yoga. They can coil their bodies up or lay out long or stretch out. And to kind of further their learning, I wrote the word down here, snake. That might be something fun that we can do for our yoga. You can do nature things, like you can become a tree. You could find a way to pose your body or your hands or your arms in the shapes of different letters. So I can use letters and ABC cards in uppercase or lowercase numbers. Or you could make yoga cards uh, with numbers. I also wrote the word one down here to um, coordinate with making our bodies into a one or find a way to shape yourself into a two. And then we kept all of our yoga cards so that we could create what's called a yoga routine. And with a yoga routine, you just take your different cards that you made or that your child made and you think, okay, the first pose we're going to do would be 
cat. And then we could choose to move our bodies and hold the shape of a two and then move on to a, a love pose. With that, my little legs are like a hug and I'm, I'll show you my, my love pose here in a little bit. So that's how we're gonna make our yoga routines. Okay, now that we've made some yoga cards, let's set up a yoga routine. So I have some cards laid out here on a table. I have my cloud and flower, a bee and cat, the number two, and then a love pose. You can either put these on the floor in front of you so that you can do them. You could tape them up on the wall or just hold them and try to do them one at a time. Now, the fun thing about doing yoga with your kids is that you can do your own types of poses. You can find different ways to create yourself into a flower pose or the letter B pose. Let's show you how we did some yoga at our house. Well, we're gonna show you how to do our yoga routine. We worked on making some yoga cards and I picked four different cards here for us to show you how to do a yoga routine. Now, this is my daughter. This is Clara. She Hi. used to be in my preschool class, but now she's all grown up in, in college and she likes to do yoga. And guess where she learned how to do yoga from? Her preschool <laughs> teacher, yeah. So here's our routine. First, we're going to show you how to do the cloud pose. Now, the cool thing about this is I can do my own cloud and Clara could do her own cloud too. Yeah, yeah maybe a stratus and a oh. cumulus, a cumulus Cumul cloud. Cumulonimbus. Okay, first pose is cloud. Okay, go ahead, pose. And hold it for three, two, one. Okay, next pose. Ooh, what's this next pose? A flower. Okay. Let's see. We can't see our feet so good, but we could root our toes into the ground, get them rooted in there. And now you could maybe grow up. And what kind of a flower are you, Clara? I'm, a, I'm swaying in the breeze. Oh, okay. They can't see you here. There you go. She's swaying in the breeze. And maybe I'm a sunflower. Here I am. Okay. There's our flower pose. Next, can you find the number one in your body? I think I can. Okay, let's see. What does Claret? Oh, her arms are up tall. She's like a one. I might do a fancy one. Okay, and our last pose is called love. And this is a pose I made up where my legs are crisscrossed like you're given a hug. And then... I made the shape of a heart. That's our love pose. Okay. Namaste, Clara. Namaste, Mom. Nice yoga posing. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing some time with me and doing some yoga with me. I liked making yoga cards and doing yoga poses with my daughter. You can do some yoga with your families at home. Sometimes we even do poses at school where it's two people doing yoga together to hold hands and make a bridge or to get together and figure out how to make a different letter like the letter B. Have lots of fun with it and uh, incorporate some yoga into your daily or your weekly routine. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.